Hi everybody, welcome to another career tutorial. I'm Crate Man, and what we're going to do this time through is we're going to make a fake planet um, using only shaders. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. First of all, let's put a sphere in our scene. Let's put it right here in the middle, and let's uh, edit the uh, the shader on it. Let's go into color and drop color gradient. Click that. We want blue on one side and we want green on the other side and just kind of mix things up. Let's go ahead and throw a little brown in the intermediate part of it. Now you could put a you could put a color terminator on on either side of this to kind of uh, you know help the effect a little bit. You know, kind of ramp it from one one color to the other. But we're not going to dwell on that too long. Let's go ahead and push okay. That's kind of what we want. Now let's do the color is going to be or the driver for our um, gradient is going to be spots and it doesn't look like much here let's go ahead and draw this up and you notice how this looks kinda like little islands that's what we want uh, you can play with the blending a little bit if you want to get bigger and smaller islands if you want let's see what it renders like pretty much what we thought it would just like that let's go ahead and uh, uh, drop a cloud in here. Well, before we do, let's go ahead and edit this just a little bit more. One thing about um, your texture maps, and the better way to do this is to bring a texture map in here for exact results. But since we're not doing that, let's go ahead and, and uh, take our spot. Let's copy this. Go into the bump. Paste in the bump. And it's an inverted bump. We don't want that invert er, inversion to happen. We want the islands to be raised off of the sphere. So let's go ahead and, and uh, do an operator, do a curve filter, and let's just flip those bumps around a little bit. Right there, right there. Kapow. Now everything is raised off of the planet. Now, um, you can also do, you can also uh, put uh, a little bit of height you can adjust the highlight in there too if you want to um, let's uh, paste that in there and then you have to do actually let's copy the bump and then paste in the highlight and it should mostly just have the highlights in the blue areas like you want it See how that works. It's still going to be a little shiny on the islands, but we're not going to worry about that too much right now. You can tweak that as you go. Now, let's throw a little atmosphere in here and see if we can do that in pretty quick time. You can use uh, you can use any of the clouds, but we're going to go ahead and use this cloud, kind of the quicker cloud. And let's uh, select Cloud Sphere and Option Command K, and let's just make sure that everything's centered on each other push zero let's see what we got yeah it's a little much now having worked with this already I, I pretty much know the setting I know pretty much know the settings that I want we're not going to tweak these around too much because of the limitation that we have in time but um, let's go ahead and bump the quality up all the way let's do the size uh, size is fine. Density, bring the density down, and edge fall off. This is the thing that's going to really kind of make or break your, make or break your clouds. See that right there? Now, if you bring the edge fall off down, or you can turn it off completely. Hmm. Well, maybe that isn't what's going to make or break your, break your texture. Uh, let's do size. There we go. Oh, and it's a square. Let's go ahead and make that a sphere. And push Shift S. And let's bring it a little closer to our the, the planet. Now you're gonna need you're gonna need a little bit of space around your planet. And uh, and you'll have to drag it as you want it. But you notice there's a nice little little ring around here. And you can adjust your adjust your um, cloud settings as you want. And uh, 
and get better results. One of the things that you'll have to take into consideration though, it's not going to show a whole lot right here until you, unless you change the color or um, add to the quantity, maybe take off some of the quality so it isn't so transparent. You notice it's starting to eat into the, to the rest of it. Uh, kind of tweak it around a little bit and uh, you get yourself a pretty, um, not realistic planet, but a planet that you can uh, play with and uh, do stuff with in the scenes that you make. So anyway, that's it for this time. I'm Kripe Man, and I'll talk to you again later.